Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know you guys are tired of me saying this, but I'm gonna say it one more time. I swear this is probably our very last IVF attempt. Um, I am at the doctor's office right now. I do have my baseline appointment. Um, it's already starting off like freaking rocky. My regular uh, doctor's office had like an emergency this morning and they sent me 20 minutes out farther than where I normally would have to drive. So I just got here. It's like 40 minute drive from work. I'm freaking tired and hungry, but I made it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and see what they say. Hopefully I can get started. Um, I'll film a little bit later today maybe or sometime this week and I'll let you guys know about the protocol that I'm doing but we are doing uh, something a little bit different this time hopefully it works um, but I don't know when things start off rocky and they're like all crazy I don't know I just get a little bit discouraged like okay doesn't feel like your will you know if it's not easy I don't know maybe maybe it'll get better but that's all just wanted to give you a little update talk to you guys soon Bye. Hey guys. Okay, I am home now. My appointment went a-okay. I found out a couple of things. Um, I did see a cyst, which they didn't say that's going to prevent me from starting. So uh, that was cool. Um, I also was told that I have three fibroids now. So not completely unexpected since, you know, they told me when I had my surgery, they'll start to grow back. Um but I'm guessing because I'm on so much estrogen and I keep doing these stupid rounds of IVF that they're just coming back faster. But hopefully they don't like grow big. I think they're all at like two centimeters or something too. I don't really even know what the, the measurement is, but they're at it too. So I'm assuming that's really tiny. Um, so I'm not too worried about them, but just the fact that they're back kind of bothers me or whatever. So um, I am home for the day. I did just take my first Lupron shot. Um, I do have my calendar here, so I'm going to go kind of through that with you guys real quick. Um, I am doing the microdose Lupron flare protocol this time. This is supposed to be like the mother of all protocols. Like I think I saw someone on YouTube call it the devil's protocol, so I'm not too excited about that, but hopefully that means it's going to work. I don't know. Um, so, so far for this week, um, it's Monday, so I'm supposed to take... I didn't do the morning AM one, obviously, because I went to my appointment this morning. So I had 20 units of Lupron at 7 p.m. Then tomorrow I'll take 20 units at 7 a.m., 20 units at 7 p.m. Um, and then on Wednesday, I start uh, Minipure and Gonal F in addition to my Lupron. So I'll take the 20 units of Lupron at 7 a.m., 7 p.m., then between 6 and 8 p.m., I'll do 225 of Menopure and 500 units of Gonal F. And that'll be what I do until my first appointment, which is Saturday. So we'll see what they tell me on Saturday. I don't know what's kind of expected um, at that five day, because usually for the normal protocol protocols at five days, like that's when you know if you're getting canceled or not. But this I heard is a much slower protocol. So they're not expecting a lot, um, I think within the first five days. So I don't think we're gonna get canceled on Saturday, but honestly, who freaking knows, right? So we shall see. Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, car chronicles, you know? Um, I just wanted to hop on and give you guys a quick update. Um, today is day five of Lupron and day three of stems. Yeah, I'll be taking stems tonight. So it'll be day three of stems. I'm already home from work. It's like 2.30. I have the worst headache and I cannot shake it. Like I'm so over it. I really hope that my body just like gets used to this and this headache doesn't last because I've seen online that these cycles like the Lupron flare, whatever cycle, is a long one and I'm gonna be taking shots for like another week and a half and I cannot I cannot with this headache so I already don't like taking medicine and I don't want to take medicine for my medicine you know so I haven't taken anything but maybe I'll take some Tylenol or something but we'll see um but yeah I just wanted to give you a quick update other than that like I feel fine like I don't feel like anything's happening, which 
is never a good sign, right? I've been on medicine for a little bit. I don't feel any different like in my belly or achy or crampy or nothing. I just have this stupid headache. So I don't know if that's a good sign or not. I know this cycle is supposed to be a slow, long one. So I don't know. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning uh, at 8.15. So I'll probably give you guys an update um, as to what they tell me tomorrow. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. So quick update. Today is Saturday. It is day six of stims. Well, no, I lied. Okay. So I've been taking shots for six days. I started with Lupron, like I said before, the first two days, and then I started stims on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I'm supposed to do it tonight. Um, I did have a appointment today. This was my first, like, did you make it to 100? You know, I have to get my estradiol up to 100 before I can continue. Um, so I went and did that ultrasound this morning, gave blood. The doctor told me that if I do not hear from her today, then to take my shots tonight. If she does call me by 4 o'clock today, then I'm canceled. So it's currently 4.19. Um, I forgot that I signed up for LabCorp. So I get updates when my results and stuff are in. So I looked at it maybe a half hour ago and I was at 102. My estradiol level is at 102. So I'm not expecting a phone call today. I think my body is actually kind of responding to this protocol so far. Um, so we're good. That gets us until my next doctor's appointment. So Monday will be my next check and then we'll see if my levels are still rising or if they drop back down, which has also happened to me before. So we'll see. So I think we are good to go for two more days. So we're just taking it little, little, little by little. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I mean, I could be completely wrong and she could still call me, but I have this feeling like it said 102. I know I had to be at 100. I should be in the clear for at least two more days and then we'll see. Um, like I said in my last update, like I've just been having these headaches. Um, but other than that, I don't feel too uncomfortable I'm a little bloated but like I don't hurt I don't have like what feel like gas pains or any kind of pain um just the headaches which is super annoying because it's that like dull like gnawing feeling like over here um but other than that everything's good so I did want to show you guys I I was trying to keep myself busy after my appointment my husband and I went to breakfast and we hung out at the house and then he left me so I was like, what am I going to do? I can't be sitting around waiting for four o'clock to come for this lady to call and cancel my cycle. So I went to um, Once Upon a Child. It's like a secondhand th uh, thrift store or a secondhand store for kids stuff. I don't know. But I got some really cute stuff. I have it laid out over here on the couch. So I want to show it to you guys. Give me one second. Okay, like how cute are these? Like I cannot even. I got... This little number here, this is a like Carter's set in the newborn size. And then there's this one here. Um, it's got these cute little dinosaurs on it. Um, and this separate one onesie and a teether. And then I got this over here. It's like these cute little pants. I just could not pass them up. They were so cute. Each outfit was so cheap. It was like, I think for this entire thing here, it was $4.50. And then these little pants were $2.50. I think that shirt was $3. Um, how much was the, I think that this was only $6, $6.49. Um, but I looked it up on Amazon first and it was $14.99. So I bought it. And then this is a cute little H&M onesie. Um, I liked this one because like, look, it's all like little boy. However, Hold, please. I really liked the way it looked with this. Bro, let me tell you, with some cream tights and a cream headband, my little girl would also be so cute in this. Like, I can't even, I can't do it one-handed, but I've already done it and it's super cute because who said only boys can wear dinosaurs? Like, I think not. Everybody loves a freaking T-Rex, okay? So I absolutely love these overalls. Um, but yeah, like that's all I'm up to. I'm not doing anything today. Just hanging out at the house. I'll probably put up a shelf over the toilet in the guest bathroom. Um, that's on my list of things to do. And 
yeah, I'm just a little excited that I'm not going to get canceled this time. I mean, that's not, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get canceled on Monday, but at least I didn't get canceled today, right? So one, one day at a time. All right. Well, I'll give you guys an update on Monday. Bye. Hey guys, today's update is that we are at my doctor's appointment. Um, today is Wednesday. I think I've been taking shots for about nine days, maybe ten. Uh, I think the last time I updated you guys, I was supposed to receive a phone call from my nurse to see if I was going to be canceled or not. Um, she did let me know that my numbers were slowly rising, but that they weren't as high as they wanted them to be. Um, but that the doctor wanted me to go ahead and take meds for another two days uh, just to see if I'm a late, not well, not late bloomer, but like just coming late to the game and he wanted to give my body a couple more days. So that's what I'm doing now. I am about to go give blood, do an ultrasound and see if anything happened. Um, my last ultrasound, I only had two follicles. Um, and so the nurse at that time just said like, is it really worth it to continue? I don't know. Um, and then another nurse called me kind of later that day and told me to just keep taking shots just to see, basically just to see. So um, that is what we're doing now. I think I'm gonna ask like if we get canceled, if we can convert this cycle to an IUI cycle. Um, I don't really know how that works or if that's even possible, but I'm done trying to get pregnant so that would be like my last try like last ditch effort if he can convert this to an IUI cycle and then just call it so I'm sitting here with Derek we are early daddy do you have anything to say today's his birthday happy birthday my yeah. baby's old he's an old man now yeah one foot in the grave you want to well, tell him how old you are or is that a secret uh 36 <laughs> 36 yeah. all right well I'll let you guys know what they say later on today. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll say bye. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back for another update. Um, I don't really remember the last time I updated you. I know it was a few days ago, um, but I think it was before I got my phone call from my nurse. So um, just to give you guys a quick update, I had my last appointment. I did my ultrasound and blood work. Uh, my blood came back at like 400 my estradiol my estradiol number came back at like 400 and maybe 68 or 38 or something like that um so i did get a call back from my nurse uh, she basically was just like we see one mature follicle in the running um and that i had a couple other ones just behind it but that they wanted to see more mature follicles um but she did say you know you have one and you know, it's up to you if you want to continue your cycle. Um, and so I was kind of just like, well, you're the expert, right? Like you and the doctor know what you're doing. Do you recommend that I continue with this cycle? Is it, good? are we gonna get anything at the end of this? Um, and she basically told me, nah. So um, that our last IVF cycle has officially been canceled. Um, I did ask if there's any way we can just convert it to an IUI cycle because I heard that people do that. Um, and she said she talked to the doctor and they said I could. Um, so we are going to convert this IVF cycle into an IUI cycle. Um, I She had me like lower my dosage uh, the last two days. Um, and then like we had sex a couple days ago or something. Uh, yeah, I think it was like two days ago. She told us that was it. And then, um, Today I'm here for ultrasound, make sure I guess, make sure I didn't ovulate, uh, blood work, and then hopefully tomorrow we'll go ahead and do the IUI. Um, I think we're just doing it just to say we did it. We've never done an IUI. We don't want to just waste the cycle, I guess, since I'm already on the medication instead of just completely canceling it. So I'm not going in with any like high hopes, but it's just one last effort we can say we did and then and then we're done so that is that update um i guess i can get back on tomorrow i think i just spit um i can get back on tomorrow after the procedure and just let you guys know how it goes or maybe before the procedure i don't know but that is it that is next steps we are done it's kind of bittersweet like I'm excited to not have to take these shots ever again because in my heart of hearts like I know I'm not doing this ever again um 
but it also kind of sucks, right? So, but whatever. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me in all of my glory. Please excuse all this hot mess that is Tiana today. It is Saturday. I haven't done a single thing. Well, I kind of cleaned up, but outside of that, I've been in my PJs all day. Um, it's about to be eight o'clock. I think I've already let you guys know my cycle was canceled. It's now been converted into an IUI cycle. So today we get to do our trigger. Um, I can't say that I'm very excited. I remember the last time I had to take a trigger shot and like literally 10, 15 minutes later, I was in tears crying. Like I was just so emotional. I don't know if it was the actual hormone shot or if I was just in my feelings that day, but oh my gosh, that HSG shot was no joke. And so I'm not too excited about taking it, but I have to do it in, I think 10 minutes here on the dot, eight o'clock. Um, I'll be taking this this trigger shot and we'll see how it goes. They told us on Monday morning, Derek will give a sample and I will come in and they'll, they'll inseminate me. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'm not really feeling anything about it. Just not looking forward to this. H H I keep saying HSG, but I think it's HCG. HCG shot. I'm pretty sure that is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. All right, guys. Hey, good morning. Uh, today is January 31st. We are outside of the fertility clinic. Um, we're going to do our IUI this morning. Uh, Mr. Smith over here. You want to say hi? <laughs> so we live, okay, we live about 46 minutes from the clinic. And we were told that he could either collect his sample at the clinic um, and have to like go in a room and do all that. Or he can do it at home. But the transportation time has to be under 45 minutes. So we live like 45, 46 minutes away. It would be like cutting it super close. So we decided it would be a good idea to wait until we got here. So we've been in the back. <laughs> we've, been in the, we've been in the back. And now he's acting all embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed to say hi to the people. You're having a good morning. I'm tired like, of coming to these companies. <laughs> I ain't messing with myself more at these companies than my own house. Mm. So we had to we had to take care of some things. And now we're good. And now we can go turn in <laughs> this sample because somebody didn't want to go in the room by himself. So we out here breaking laws, y'all. So dirty. <laughs> All right, that's it for this vlog. Um I'll come back at you with like our two week wait, I guess. That's it. Say yeah. bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.